This Good To Go segment is sponsored by Spectrum Health Medical Group. Sports medicine may sound like something dedicated to serious athletes, but at Spectrum Health, sports medicine encompasses a whole lot more. You don't have to be a long distance runner or semi-pro athlete to work with the healthcare professionals at Spectrum Health and benefit from their knowledge and expertise. Here to talk about that is Dr. Tim Jalsma, a physician with Spectrum Health Sports Medicine. Hi, Dr. Jalsma. Hi, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Tell me about sports medicine and how this may differ from kind of a traditional orthopedic practice. Yeah, so sports medicine is actually a bit of a misnomer, okay? We cover more than just sports. We cover a whole variety of orthopedic issues and even some non-orthopedic issues. So we don't only see athletes, we see people from all walks of life. We see workers, workmen's comp cases, we see the elderly, and we also see the young athletes that, well, comes with our namesake. Mm. So tell me a little bit about your role within Spectrum Health Sports Medicine. So my role as a non-operative orthopedist or sports medicine physician is basically I take care of a local high school, a local college, and then the local community. I see things from chronic injuries that are overuse injuries. I see workman's comp, arthritis. We see a wide variety of athletes that come in for illnesses such as mono. Uh, my purpose in this, uh, this organization is to basically, one, help people try to retain their goals of activity, and two, do so utilizing what we call a conservative approach. In my books, that means keeping them away from the surgeons, if possible, utilizing conservative measures, injections, rehab, and the such. Hmm. How does someone know if they're a good candidate for sports medicine? You know, if you feel like you're having pain in a muscle, a joint, a tendon, or a ligament, or you're, you're not sure where the pain's coming from, a good place to start is calling your primary care physician. They'll be able to help triage you to us if they feel this is something that is not driven, say, by an uh, issue with your other uh, organs, your kidneys, your liver, that sort of thing. Mm. Um, but if you also just feel like giving us a call, we can certainly uh, see over the phone if this is something that we can help manage. So a lot of folks trying to stay active, whether they're playing a sport or just trying to be, you know, keep busy exercising and such. What kinds of advice do you have for them to remain healthy and injury free in doing that? Okay, there's actually a lot. This is a kind of a broad subject. I usually start off with the simple basics. Okay, set small achievable goals. Don't try to change your entire lifestyle around at once if you're getting new to activity. If you're trying to push yourself to kind of that premier athletic status, come see me. We can talk about the specifics of that. But big things to recall or to remember when you're getting into activity is maintain hydration. Maintain good rest. Rest is heavily underestimated in the recovery process. And a big thing is make sure that if you're exercising, you're doing so in appropriate sort of uh, athletic wear that allows moisture wicking and also do it in an environment that helps facilitate uh, good exercise. If you're new to exercise, it's not best to go outside in 75, 80 degree weather and start there. <laughs> all right, all good advice. Of course, Spectrum Health Sports Medicine has providers on the lakeshore and throughout West Michigan. Ask your primary care physician to refer you, or I know folks can also make self-referrals, and you can learn more at spectrumhealth.org slash sports. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Hey, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. 